Hola a todos. Uh, mi español no es perfecto, por eso yo voy a hablar en inglés. Hello everyone, my name is Toby Breuer. I am 48 years old. Uh, I'm from Germany. Uh, I live only a few months in Germany now. Since many years I spent most of the time in Kumbuko, Brazil. Which I'm sure many of you know, because uh, every year I meet uh, many Argentinians there. Which I really enjoy, because you guys are really cool people. Um, I started kitesurfing in 2000. A friend of mine and I were playing on the beach with the normal power kites. And he came with a video from Robbie Nash, uh, which showed uh, kite surfing with two line kites and a big directional board. So my friend, he bought a kite and a board, it was a seven meter. And yeah, and then we started ourselves, no, no magazines, no instructions, nothing. And yeah, it took us a long time to get it going. Kitesurfing plays a very important role in my life. It's my passion, it's my work, uh, basically it's my everything. This is why I also went to Brazil, because there for me it's the best uh, conditions for kitesurfing. There's so many great places, you know, every, every place has there something special. Um, Brazil, there's like the most things I enjoy while kitesurfing, plus um, the life that comes with it, you know, Brazil is for me the, the best combination, especially Kumbuku. That's why, why I bought a house there and uh, really feel like home there. Since I started kite surfing, I was hooked in. I wanted to jump. So I came to the point where everyone was going unhooked and I was like, no, I don't like this and I need to take a smaller kite um, to have less power and then I don't jump so high. And this is where I, I stopped following the trend and I kept doing the air style stuff or the old school tricks, which it's called. And um, yeah, and I saw everyone goes another way. No one did these tricks anymore, I laughed, so I was one of the only doing them. And people always loved what I did. So I thought, okay, let's inspire people. Let's do a DVD. Uh, it will be like marketing for my kite for. And yeah, I started to film and it became more and more and more and more tricks. I already thought 666 is uh, a lot of tricks. If you really want to learn new tricks, um, you can go on my website strictlyhook.com, which is for free, and I have like ratings one to five. So you start with rating, rating one with all these categories, and you find the trick which you think looks cool. So you start there, and just do it. Just do it. Lighter wind, bigger kite, do it. You need to commit. So once then you will know uh, what's, where you are in that trick, you know, and you just keep doing and doing. Also, when I film, I don't land the trick the first time all the time. I keep repeating, repeating. But with every crash, I know where I am and what I need to change to land the trick. And with rating one, it's, you don't, won't hurt yourself a lot, you know, but you can progress a lot. So once you land at that trick, you can see on the side again, like, okay, if I can land this trick, what's next? For example, you do one rotation, then you can do two rotations, then you can do three rotations. So you need to start at one point. Start slowly, take your time, you know, but like go for it. Try it, don't give up. You will land more and more tricks. My gear is special. Um, most people never seen an 18, launched an 18, um, but basically all my quiver is 18s from the same brand and model. Um, it's a 2015 North Rebel, uh, 18 square meter. Uh, I ride it with 32 meter lines and I have a board that's 128 times 38. It's all old gear, um, but this gear um, I have the possibility to trim it and use it the way I need it for my tricks. The smaller the kite, the bigger the whisk. So this big kite, slow kite, gives me all the confidence to go do all these tricks. From 
of Argentina, I only know virtually many spots because uh, on Kiteform I run the biggest database for kite spots around the world. So I know about the spots in Buenos Aires on the river, which looks nice and fun. Um, I know there's some lakes, I met some people uh, who ride on the lakes, um, also where the competition is. Um, looks like strong wind and cold water. And Mar del Plata, I know, there's many spots. So yeah, virtually I, I know quite some places in Argentina, but unfortunately I have never been, but for sure it's on my to-do list, um, especially to know the country, to know the people. started kite surfing I immediately knew that um, kite surfing is my sport because I love water and I love jumping 